This step-by-step -step tutorial will show you how to create a, a video presentation uh, on a Windows system. First of all, um, we have the same procedure on, on every system, Linux, Windows, Windows and Mac. Um, you create your LibreOffice uh, presentation and the slides in LibreOffice and then you do a HTML export and via the HTML export you will get the PNG image as slides. First slide you will create an mp3 file uh, as an audio comment per slide and store the comment per slide in an mp3 file um, with the name slide0.mp3 slide1.mp3 and so on. These slides and these images uh, will be used to create a video um, on a Windows system and then you have to start the Movie Maker on Windows which is freely available on any uh, Windows system. So now we have started uh, the on Windows system the Movie Maker and uh, the first thing we do, we import the images which uh, were uh, exported by LibreOffice before. The images are numbered image 0, image 1, image 2 and so on. And the audio slides are imported as well later. So when we play back the video, we have 7 seconds um, per slide um, without any changes. For the, It's a default setting for the importing of, of images. We have to adjust that later um, in the audio settings. So when you when we add now the audio slides, the audio slides are separate separate files, slide1.mp3. And if we add them you see that the video is much longer than uh, the audio the, the video uh, track is much shorter than the audio track. When you move over uh, the audio track, you see the duration of the of the video, and now we will adjust the video according to the length of the audio track. So now we do it a little bit longer than the than the video track. Now it's uh, 22 seconds, so they are um, similar, and we do that for every track. Um, add the next audio slide, one, open it, and adjust look at the duration of the audio track and adjust the duration of the slide according to the length of the audio track. We do that for another one so this was a little bit too short so we um, look on the audio track so we add one more second so that the display of the slide is as long as the audio track. So we do one more as an example add the next audio track for the slide and it's too long move over and look at the duration of the slide and double click on the slide and adjust the duration of the slide in the frame so we do that for all slides which we created before when you add another audio track uh, add music then you will see that the audio track is appended directly behind the last uh, audio track and uh, so that the audio track starts exactly at the same uh, time index you shift the audio track according to that uh, starting point of the next slide. So it's 44 seconds and then that's it. So length duration is okay and the uh, uh, this has to be done, of course, for all slides. Um, then we export the video. The video has to be rendered, and we decide to make an, uh, a video. This takes quite a long time, depending on the length of the video. And then you create the video is already finished. That's it so far. So what we have done so far is to create the basic um, video presentation for a virtual conference. But the participants in the conference might want to know who is giving the talk. So the next part of the tutorial will show you how to add uh, a webcam video as a personalized intro of your um, video presentation for the virtual conference.
now we are going to the um, home panel and select the webcam video and when we click on this, uh, the webcam video uh, we record a short introduction for the video so you see the video driver is working and you get the video signal from the webcam and what you do now is to record the, a small introduction to your presentation by pressing the record button and you stop when your intro comment is finalized. You might want to add another video at the end. Then you save the video on, uh, on your hard drive, introduction, presentation, and then it's included in the time track of the video. So when you move to another uh, time index in your video and you might uh, add a final comment at the end and record it as well, save that to your hard drive and include it as well. So what you see in your time track is that the video is at the moment maybe on the wrong time index in the video and you can shift the video from that place to the very beginning. And when you see what happens, the total audio track is uh, at the wrong time index so it doesn't shift um, the music or the audio track um, appropriately and so it's recommended to do the insertion of the webcam videos in the very beginning uh, of the organization of the, of the slides and do the uh, insertion of the audio tracks at the last step before rendering the video. So keep in mind as a summary this uh, video tutorial is showing only the last step uh, of creating a video presentation within Movie Maker on Windows system. If you use uh, a Mac, then you use iMovie. If you use uh, Linux, I, I prefer to use KDN Live um, to perform the last step. So um, the first two steps are similar on every uh, operating system. So Linux, Windows, Mac, you have LibreOffice and Audacity available to create the slides and the audio tracks. Uh, but the last step, um, it's a different, uh, recommend different on, on the different operating system. So um, you can look at the Action Team 6 follow-up initiative for uh, appropriate tutorials for Audacity and LibreOffice as well and uh, enjoy uh, the presentation as well and thanks for watching.